Hi everyone, it's Steve here, Web Services Manager at Wavestreaming.com, and I'm here with James. And I just wanted to talk to you about something really important that's kind of coming now. And basically, as you know, we've released a lot of free tools and utilities for your radio stations and managing them and everything over the past couple of years. And I think you'll agree, we've released some stuff that really helps the community. But we want to take it one level above that now. Mm. We want to release something called Web Radio Toolkit, which kind of brings all of these things together. So I'm just going to get James to tell you a little bit more about this. Yeah, OK. Um, basically, um, for those of you who don't know about our company, um, we obviously offer services to radio stations, uh, both paid and free also. And what we've been doing over the past couple of years is putting together three really great tools, um, which most radio stations are broadcasting using the platform called Shoutcast, yeah. can really benefit from. We've seen Jeez, maybe 30,000 different radio stations take advantage of all of these. Yeah, I was having, even, having a look at the stats and yeah, that's, that's yeah. About 30,000, yeah. or is it slightly over now? Well, I mean, it grows that fast now, but yeah, yeah probably a little bit more. Um, but it's, it's incredible, you know, and, and these tools are now getting literally tens of millions of hits every single month. Yeah, aren't things they? have just gone absolutely insane, haven't they? We didn't realise the amazing amount of demand that was out there for this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're trying to address it now with this Web Radio Toolkit. Yeah, so what, what really we've done is we put together um, a collection of all three tools which we believe will benefit any kind of radio station. You don't have to be a customer of Wavestreaming in order to use these. They're available for any radio station you know, in the world using Shoutcast. Aren't they? Yeah, so I think I think that's what's really important, isn't it? We're, we're actually giving something back here, mm. unlike you know some other companies in some other areas who will just want you to pay for everything. This is about kind of building the community a little bit. Yeah, I'm really providing some value, something that you can actually use and mm. see a difference with. So let's just run through the tools. Um, firstly, we've got the flash players, of course, yeah. which are hugely you know, popular, hugely ridiculously popular, um, and obviously huge importance to them. So, yeah. I mean, what would you say that the main benefits of really for a radio station? Of using the flash player out. I mean, I know they're kind of obvious to us, but I'm thinking people out there, especially if we're just getting started, might not be so clear. So Yeah, sure. I mean, the first thing is, obviously, you're getting a flash player for free yep. from somewhere that you know knows about radio. Yeah. So there are no stupid extra gimmicks or features there or things like that that aren't related. It's completely we, advertising free. Yeah, you, it's you know. completely doing what you want. Mm -hmm. It's not some sort of shameless promotional attempt mm -hmm. or attempt to upsell things. So you're not going to find, oh, we're going to be asking you for money after no. you've used it for so many days. But I mean, I, th I think the main benefit is really what you know what it can do for the actual listeners. You know, as far oh, as yeah. being able to anyone can tune in from the browser, really, can't they? Yeah. And what it, browsers does it work on? Is it all of them? It pretty much works on all of them. Yep. Uh, so you know, it, it basically cuts out all those compatibility issues that you might have. Mm -hmm. You might not even want it to deal with all those technical issues of trying right. to get your radio station playing doing yourself. This is a uniform way that anybody on a desktop or laptop and a whole load of other devices as well. PC or Mac. Yeah. Can access. And it's kind of worry free and hassle free for you. Yeah. And, and I it, guess that is the biggest benefit. It's Firefox, Chrome, yeah. Safari. I mean, we use a whole load of different browsers and a whole different type of Obviously, computers Explorer. and everything. So mm. we've really tested this thing out. And it's just the easiest way to deliver your radio station to people. Yeah, and it's just point and click for the listener. Yeah. Um, so moving on to the second toolkit uh, item, I guess, which is the multiplayer listen links. Um, now, these are important, aren't they? Because Yeah, because without them, you're, just, you're, you're so likely to be losing listeners. Yeah. You've got to make it easy for people, haven't you? Absolutely. And depending on why they can or they want to listen as well. Mm. I think that's really important. And a lot of people, again, they struggle with the whole thing of getting people on board with their radio station. I think a, a few years back, um, when Shoutcast was first kind of invented and started to really take off on the internet, obviously because it's developed around the Winamp platform, yeah. um, all the radio stations were like, listen guys, if you want to tune into us, you've got to use Winamp to listen. Yeah, I remember um, when that was just, that was, that was the choice. Yeah, that's and obviously you were then forcing users to download Winamp. You know, even if they didn't want to download one, they had to download yeah. one app to listen. Whereas now, you know, we've overcome that by delivering this set of listenings, which will work with all the common media players on both yeah, PC and Mac. So iTunes, obviously biggest mm. uh, Windows media player, real player, Winamp, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The fact is, a lot of people who are listening to radio stations, they don't want to be bothered with having to download and set something up. They just want to listen to what you're offering. So use the listen links we're providing for you. Mm -hmm and just cut out that middle ground. And also, now the fi third and final part of the Web Radio Toolkit, which is the same, you know, these three tools are all included for free as part of the Web Radio Toolkit, um, is of course the mobile 
thing, you know, for Blackberry and for Yeah, iPhones. because this is becoming huge, isn't it? I mean, how many would you say, I mean, of your friends, would you say have got an iPhone now or a Blackberry? Um, it'd be easy to say the ones that don't. I've got one friend that has an Android phone. OK. And I think this probably works on Android oh, no. too. Yeah, it does. It just definitely works on Android. Actually, I know two people with uh, very old Nokias. OK. But apart from that, we're probably talking like 30, 90%. Yeah, 30, 30 people yeah. with some sort of smartphone type thing, like a BlackBerry or an iPhone or an Android. And the, the, obviously the good thing about mobile phones now is they've all got the internet, so people can yeah. carry your radio station around with them. Um, so there's no, no, you're no longer just bound to a computer to listen to internet radio, mm. really. It's a, it's a move about thing you can walk down the road in town with yeah. your headphones in listening to an internet radio station and that will play quite happily. So that's the third element is our uh, mobile portal which works with iPhone and Blackberry for Shoutcast users. And that's just going to grow in importance isn't it? Yep. So just to summarise then the three uh, key parts of web radio toolkit. First of all the flash players and secondly the listening and thirdly the web uh, mobile web tuner um, which works with Blackberry and iPhone. Um, so you guys can get hold of this just by going to webradiotoolkit.com. As I say, absolutely free of charge, of course. There's no uh, catches. We're not going to be passing your details no. onto some random third parties or anything like this. It's totally free, really just for us to give something back to the community. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Uh, as I say, webradiotoolkit.com. Check it out, and we'll speak to you again very soon. Bye. Bye-bye for now.